Right then, for our story time um, this afternoon, I'm going to read Alma and the Big Bird, and this is by David McKee. Alma, the patchwork elephant, was watching his cousin Wilbur. Wilbur was playing voice tricks for some friends. He was making his voice come from the trees a long way off. Strange, thought Alma. No birds around. They love Wilbur's voice tricks. I wonder where they can be. Alma left the others and went to find the birds. As he walked, he called out, Yo-ho, birds, where are you? Suddenly, a bird flew out of the cave and said, Shh, Alma, quickly, come inside. The cave was full of birds. We're hiding from that huge, nasty bully bird that's on the red rock, said one. He frightens us. Have you seen him? No, said Alma. I'll go talk to him. That won't do any good, sighed a bird as Alma left. Sure enough, there was a big bird on the rock. Hello, you're new here, said Alma. You're welcome to stay, but please don't frighten little birds. Frighten them? They'll do as I say or I'll do more than frighten them, screeched the bird. I like to frighten and I'll decide if I stay or not. Alma returned to Wilbur and the others and told them about the bully bird. If he won't stop being nasty, said Alma, I need your help and the help of the really big bird. The really big bird? asked Wilbur. Yes, said Alma. Here's the plan. Next, Alma went back to the birds and said, You're right, the bully is awful. We might need the really big bird. The really big bird? asked the little birds in chorus. Yes, said Alma. He explained what he intended to do and then said, that bully gets one more chance. If he's still nasty, I'll call the really big bird. The bully bird saw Alma coming. Stupid elephant, he muttered. I'll scare him. He dived straight at Alma. Alma hummed a little tune and pretended not to notice. The bird hurtled down, screamed and at the last minute swooped again to his rock. Alma acted as if nothing had happened. Are you all right? Alpa asked. You sounded frightened. Frightened? Me? Scoffed the bully bird. Fat chance! Well, said Alma, the birds have a friend much bigger than you. Leave them in peace or I'll call him. Bigger than me? Impossible! Shrieked the bully bird. Leave them in peace indeed. Call him. Go on, call him. Alma trumpeted loudly. A voice came from the far away. Where's the horrible bully who frightens little birds? In the distance, something started to rise. At that moment, there was the sound of running and the animals came racing by. Run for it, Alma! They called. The really big bird is coming! He, 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 he can't, can't, can't be that big stammered the bully bird. The rising shape was an enormous bird. Let's see what a really nasty bird can do, came the voice. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm just, just, just remembered, said the bully bird. It's uncle's b b birthday, I must go. And he left very quickly. Come back, coward, called the voice. But the bully bird had gone. The huge bird came closer, changed shape and started to break up. It wasn't one bird. It was all the small birds flying closely together. Laughing happily, they began to land. Wilbur came out of hiding as the animals returned. Well done, everybody, said Alma. I loved the voice, Wilbur. Thank you all, said one of the small birds. Now we can live normally again. From a distance came the voice of the really big bird. Now that's what I call togetherness. Alma, la Alma laughed. Thank you, Wilbur. I couldn't have put it better myself. The end. So, a story all about bullies and people being not so kind and thinking that they can get away with it. I wonder what things we can do if we feel that somebody's being 
unkind to us um or or just just not being very nice really what are the things we can do maybe have a chat with your parents and maybe you can um send me a little note um on dojo and we can put all our ideas together what can we do when people are being unkind <laughs>